Well, Florida faced the Tigers of a different stripe this past weekend. In a game that saw almost as many punts as points, the Gators lost at Jordan-Hare Stadium to Auburn 17-6. Florida lost three straight games for the second season in a row. So now, can the Gators save their season? Hillary. Lewis, I really think the Gators can save their season. They're that type of team that can bounce back. And luckily enough, they have a bye week this week. So I think it's a good time for the Gators to get their heads back together and prepare for Georgia, which is the biggest game of the season that everyone looks forward to. As they say, the world's biggest cocktail party. So <laughs> I really think Florida can save their season because they have Georgia, Vandy, USC. I think those are some winnable games. Florida has a strong team. And rumor has it that Brantley's coming back. So... I see them pulling out a win and getting their season back on track. Yes, I see absolutely no reason why they would have to just come this close to the end just to have a letdown. Florida has been doing outstandingly well. I mean, to me, it seems like they lost a little bit of hope losing the quarterback. I personally feel that their defense is actually much more stronger than their offense at this time. It's like the offense couldn't just get a good rhythm going over into the game. I mean, you have four punts throughout the whole game helping Auburn. I mean, it's just like they couldn't get on track. So I hope if they get their confidence back up, get on track, realize they can continue this this season very well. I mean, it's no reason why I see anything doubtful. But today. see, I couldn't disagree with you more because based on what I've seen now with the young quarterbacks, Florida throwing in the game, if you look at the, the rest of their season, they have Georgia, Vanderbilt, South Carolina, Furman, and then their rivalry with Florida State. I think Furman really looks like the only for sure winnable game on that schedule. Mm -hmm. They may very well not make it to a bowl game. I agree. I'm drinking the Florida Kool-Aid. <laughs> you know, I, I haven't been a Florida today. fan, but we'll see what's going to happen. Take away. Alabama traveled to Oxford Saturday and easily handled Ole Miss a 52-7 loss. Running back Trent Richardson led the Crimson Tide with four touchdowns. He has a lot of competition, but could Richardson be positioning himself as the Heisman favorite this year? Absolutely. And if you look back at Mark Ingram's numbers from 2009, his Heisman campaign, almost identical numbers. Richardson, 132 carries. Ingram, 135 back then. 912 yards and 905 and almost seven yards a carry for each. The big difference has been Richardson's touchdowns. He had 15 touchdowns as opposed to eight for Ingram. Their numbers are almost identical, and I think Richardson has a very good shot. The Heisman Trophy has changed a lot over, over the years. And right now, I think the concept of the Heisman Trophy is not anywhere not anywhere what like it used to be. I think Tim Tebow's winning the Heisman a few years ago was special because he was on a team that lost three games and eventually four in their bowl game lost to Michigan. But, yeah, I'm going to have to agree. He is, he is the guy. I know Andrew Luck has got 18 touchdowns and three picks. Uh, Kellen Moore, 21 touchdowns and four interceptions, but he plays for Boise State, so probably not going to have the chance. But uh, with the way he baked, absolutely baked that <laughs> Elvis defender, I mean, i got to go with Richardson for now. That, that was pretty sure. incredible. Well, when we come back, we'll tell you if Auburn will keep its winning ways. And later, we'll discuss all the new measurements taken to generate excitement for MSU athletics. Welcome back. Auburn travels to Tiger Stadium this weekend for a battle for Tiger supremacy with LSU. The Tigers of Baton Rouge will be sporting fancy uniforms for this matchup, but new wardrobe or not, is there any reason to pick against LSU in this game? Absolutely not. You know I love the Tigers, and you know I think that they're going to win the national championship yeah, this year over your Alabama Crimson Tide. <laughs> but uh, that being said, uh, this past weekend, Florida did an excellent job against Auburn's offense, shut them down only 278 yards, 123 through the air, and no Auburn quarterback Kyle Frazier, Clint Mosey, Mose Lee, or Barrett Trotter threw for over 100 yards. The big difference in this one, LSU can put up points. I like the Tigers. Absolutely. And I think – Jonathan, the LSU Tigers. The LSU Tigers. Okay, that's good. That's good. I, was say, I, have, I couldn't agree with you more. I think right now Auburn's defense is showing the same weaknesses they showed at the very, very beginning of the season. But if you look back, they opened up with 38 points, giving up 38 points to Utah State, 34 points to Mississippi State, and then 38 points apiece to Clemson and Arkansas. And they absolutely could not stop Clemson. Uh, the defense could not stop Clemson in a game where they desperately needed to stop. And so because of that, I. I, th I think that LSU and Les Miles in that offense, uh, whether it's the punter taking it 70 yards for a touchdown <laughs> or Jarrett Lee opening up the field, I think that they're licking their chops and there's no way LSU loses this game. I definitely agree. LSU cannot lose this game. I mean, they are the number one team. I'm, to me, just picking against LSU is just like making a big mistake, but I'm not going to just say anything Tell too Tell us that short. when it comes to Alabama week. <laughs> exactly. Wait, I'm not going to say too short. Maybe something is overconfident. I mean, do not underestimate this team. They don't give up. They're not just going to wait to the end. Oh, we lost this game, so let's just go home. No, they're going to fight all the way to the fourth quarter. I expect a lot of different changes this mm -hmm. week. I mean, I'm just I'm ready to sit back in my stand and just see what's happening. Like, this is going to be an awesome 
awesome game. What about I you, I have Hillary? to agree. I mean, everyone, I, I myself underestimated LSU, so they're proving to be a pretty dominant team. But when we come back, Student Association President Rhett Hobart will join us to talk about Maroon Madness and other events. And later, we'll tell you how many college football teams will finish this season with a zero in the loss column.